Oh. I remember reading, like, like listening to reviews saying, like, listening to reviews like years after this game came out saying the mech didn't control all that well. I was like, wait, but it was the it was the thing on the cover that the cool. That's cut. That seems to be a trend with Crash. Like Crash Two, the intro had uh, the the jetpack, and that's like, oh, it's a sapphire. Um, I can't, I can't, this game color pod sucks. Yeah, <laughs> that that's my issue too. Like, I can never tell if I get a sapphire or a platinum because they look the same. Uh, but um, what are we, what are we saying? <laughs> cover gimmicks or rather oh featured featured gimmicks on the cover yeah crash 2 like the intro you see crash on the jetpack it's like oh that's cool i can't wait to play that and um i don't hate the levels but they definitely aren't a fan favorite and then crash 3 had the hmm? i actually do like the jetpack but it takes a while to get used to yeah i'm 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 mostly okay with it but it definitely ain't my favorite types of levels and crash 3 had the motorcycle um, that speaks for itself, and then this game um, uh, has the uh, the Merc. <laughs> yeah, this level is actually pretty fun. It's um, basically like yeah. Apart from Crash Three. What from Crash Three? Boneyard, the first dinosaur level. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I didn't think about that. Um, it's the also level in the first warp room. Huh, yeah. What's the first chase level in Crash 2? Uh, what's it called? Dang no, what's it called? Uh, Crash Dash. Hmm, is that level 4? Maybe, actually. I, 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 I'm kind of curious now, like, if is is this like a trend? Because <laughs> uh, Crash Wait, 2, because uh, Crash 3 had a boneyard and this had this level. And, um... I know the first boulder chase level was pretty early on in Crash 1. Dang it. Crash Dash is level 5 and Crash 2. Ah, uh, they broke the trend. What about Crash 1? Dang it. Yes, is the first, the fourth level in Crash One. Okay, so it's just Crash Two that uh, that j decided to break the trend. <laughs> yes, Crash Two messed it up. That's pretty funny. Also, I like to imagine that these uh, these levels are just basically I just was inside the castles of the Crash uh, Three medieval stages. Uh, it's just a funny little head cannon, just. I like to imagine uh, that's the case. We have no idea where this castle is actually supposed to take place. Like that's true. For reference, for reference, uh, um, the warp room in this game is referred to as the VR hub system. Uh oh, okay, right. That seemingly implies that reality, but I think it's just teleportation. Hmm. Yeah, it, it's not really explained too well because um. I'm assuming it's it's a around the world kind of thing, but yeah. Anyway, chase sequence. Also, there's actually a death route here too, so uh, be careful. And uh, don't bother jumping into him when he's like that. He's still his hitbox is still out. Else he can still kill you. Yeah, I made that mistake. <laughs> he can break some of the crates for you, can he? I think he can, but to get, if you want to like get some of the stuff out of them, it's best for you to break. And I forgot he chased us again. Dang it! Not even the Triceratops chased times. Yeah. This is kind of a start. My screen's glitching. Your screen's glitching? How bad? So much stuff was going on, so. Oh, so is it just slowing down? Yeah, it's starting to slow down on my end. Okay. Okay, I gotta be careful here because uh, no masks. But, um. Yeah, this game ha kind of has, like, kind of really loves chase sequences for whatever reason. 
So you, you're you going to be seeing a lot of instances of, of that throughout the game. And a lot of I them... Going on. Is it going, still going really slow? Not you, I was talking about the, the hazard you had to pass by. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> but yeah, um... The... Uh... What was I talking about? <laughs> Chase sequences in this game. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, there, there's quite a lot of them, and um, a lot of them feature vehicles. So, oops. Yeah. Hold on a second. Well, I I swear I just saw the Komodo Bros on the uh, on the on the portrait. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna have to kill myself to get back here anyway. So. Oh, so this is the first level in the game where the music really stands out. Like, I I love this track. Oh, what's your what, how do you feel about the music? Ooh. Ah. It actually brought this death animation back. Yeah. Yeah, what's your opinion on the music in Crash 4? I like it. Mm. Yeah, I... I kind of... I, I quite like it too. Uh, I, I still prefer Crash 2 and 3 overall, but... The soundtrack ain't half bad. Yeah, for reference, um... Uh, Swap Studios was... big for this game. Uh, what studios? I guess the name. Oh, jeez. Okay, I'll give it. I'll, I'll give him credit for that. For this one, the oh oh yeah, this engine on that. I think that's just his Crash Free model, uh, or art. Um. The um. Yeah, that death route was um. Okay, seriously, this is dumb. Um, th that death route was actually fairly challenging without being stupid, so I'll give them credit for that. Ah! But yeah, the the I like that they brought in the the wizard. The wizard guys um, from Crash 3, and they're honestly more deadly here than they are in Crash 3 because um, the spell thing is much more awkward to avoid, and um, it lingers for a bit even after you kill them, so. What are you gonna say? I remember as a kid being disappointed that the wizards didn't turn you into a frog like they did in Warp. Like... <laughs> that would be pretty funny. I had a, I had a very love-hate relationship with this game for some reason. <laughs> I kind of do too. <laughs> uh. This game wanted to be Crash 3 so badly, but like anything they... Like, I complain about the stuff they didn't say, I complain about the stuff they did, the stuff they did differently, it's like... Hmm... Years old when I got this game, but... <laughs> this game. Why don't you have a seat over there? <laughs> this game is, is this game is so is really weird to me because, um, it's like it's trying to do so much at the same time, and I quite uh, honestly like when it does like when it does the normal platforming stuff. That's when it's at its best, but at the same time, it doesn't really ever reach the highs of Crash Two and Three for me. So steam coming up. Hmm. It, it it's just kind of in this awkward spot. Also, I love yeah. This theme is pretty good. 
Ah, no. Dang it. Kill me. That inf invincibility. That was a non lethal attack from a nitro crate. <laughs> yeah, right? Forget how long the the iframe periods are in this game. That went on for a while. Also, that gem puff is bullcrap, by the way. <laughs> so? Uh, Nitro Hell. Um, we won't be seeing that until, like, the very near the end of the game, because... Jeez. Oh, I messed up. Um, you don't get the, uh, yellow or the gold gem or whatever you want to call it until Warproom 5. Uh, and that's what we need to enter it. But... Wait, if that's... Are there any crates in that route? Uh, you do not, um... Well, it's only nitro crates there, but there's a, a lot. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is a bit of trial and error, because, um... You kind of just have... You kind of just expect it to know where the crates are. And you... Now, in Crash yeah. 2 or 3, they would have likely... Had you go through the level, it was like it gave you a checkpoint by this point in time if they were giving you like a new gimmick. Oops. You, you'll have to forgive me because I haven't, again, I haven't played this game in so long, so my memory is really vague. Or like, oh, really misty. <laughs> I... <laughs> this game's digital team kind of made me hate Crash Bandicoot for a while. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if it's just... Uh, I don't know if this is just me, but I I have a harder time with this game than I do with 2 and 3. I don't know what it is exactly, but... I tend to... find this game to be generally more difficult than 2 and 3. And uh, a lot of way, in a lot of ways, um, those aren't for good reasons. <laughs> but, either way... Oh. I like never remember this these parts of the level this part of the level. Hmm. I always yeah, I always remember the minecart part, but this is kind of a blur. It was like a completely different level. Yeah. How's your how do you find a difficulty in this game compared to the trilogy though? Horrifying. Horrifying? <laughs> I just have some, like, I haven't played this game personally since 2005, but... Mm. I have, like... Don't have... This game was one of the hardest things I played as a kid. Mm. Yeah, uh, it's, uh, ain't easy. Um, I, especially when you got, try getting, um, some of the gems, um, they, they ask for the most, like, crazy things sometimes. Um, there's one, it's one of the secret levels, uh, in the, si in the sixth warp room you get, um, and, spoiler alert, you get it from getting the relics like in Crash 3, um, there's a secret Coco level where um, it, there's no checkpoints, and you're on like a, a like a snowboard, I believe, and you 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 basically have to follow a specific path if you want to get all the boxes, and you can't afford to screw up at all, otherwise you have to do, do the whole level again, and it's really easy to mess something up and have to restart. It's it might be my least favorite level in the game. It's uh, really annoying. Three, four, five. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah. These bonus rooms. I can just... Yeah. In bonus rooms alone, like this game drops the gauntlet from world from 
from level from level one, basically. Yeah, it's like Crash Two and Three. Uh, like n uh, knew how to uh, s um, increase the difficulty of them, and especially in Crash 3's case, it knew it, it kept kept in mind what abilities you had at that point. Whereas this game just doesn't care. It just does. It, it just makes the most crazy bonus stages from like as early as this point in the game, and sometimes it, and sometimes just getting boxes can can be kind of a like can be kind of annoying. I almost missed. Would not have a box bridge like this in a early level game. Early level of warped. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um. And it's like. Like it feels like they did they designed some of some of the box placements around you having a double jump when you don't, so you kind of just have to make really awkward jumps sometimes, and it doesn't feel like it's designed the greatest. There we go. You appreciated the clear gems, and this looks like clear gems. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what are we doing? How are we doing for time? I missed half one. Uh, I can go on for a little bit longer. Yeah, we're doing this pretty late today. <laughs> it, this was just a spur, spur, spur of the moment thing. Just like, wanted something to do. And I, it's been so long since we recorded anything. Alright, so first boss. Looks like the Bandicoot's been busy collecting crystals. I warned you, Bandicoot. How about you? Finally, I get to wrap my fingers around your most puny orange leg. How about you? That is the most evil crunch will ever be in this franchise, by the way. Yep. <laughs> and then you get to Mind Over Mutant and say, uh, Can't stop monkeys! Ooh, right in his own mouth. Know if I know, I kind of know. Like, I rem I vaguely remember the context of that, so <laughs> I'm very worried right now. Ah, uh, man, I, I I love Crunch in the mutant games. He's he's a lot of fun. Well, I mean, Crash of the Titans. He's not really there for long. We gotta p clean this place up, children. It's been like a Metro Gear. Yeah, these fights are pretty gimmicky. Um, the uh, clo <coughs> I think I'm trying to remember. Um, yeah, the second fight is the only one that's that really resembles any sort of platforming, and even then, it's uh, one of the more annoying ones. Um, but other than that, yeah, the other fights are really gimmicky. I don't know, I don't hate these fights, but they're kind of just there. I don't know, what do you think? I thought it was kind of novel to have the first level, first boss, whatever this is. <laughs> yeah. I do... Uh, credit where it's due. I, I do like that you can see the the masks helping. I think that's pretty cool. For, you know, I didn't. I you know, since I didn't notice it back then as a kid because I hadn't played the other game. But two is kind. Of, I'm kind of reminded of the final boss battle. Hmm. You're basically gathering these orbs. Like, you have to both trying to gather these orbs and trying to kill each other with them. Oh, oh, you mean Spyro 2? Uh, like, final battles ripped out. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Now we have the sneak shoes. The best ability. <laughs> okay, as for the rest of the character models, uh, Coco looks. The model itself 
Oh, it's got it. Everyone in this game has weird textures, or rather yeah. very developed textures. That's what it kind of looks like. Yeah. I think Crash and Coco are the already just the hero characters in general. I'm mostly fine with. It's really the villains that look kind of off. Not how he's supposed to act. <laughs> Alright, let's save. Oh, memories. <laughs> That's a remix of the warp of the warp theme here. Oh yeah, this is one of my favorite versions of this theme. <laughs> um yeah, I'd say Crunch and the masks have the best models in this game. Mm. Yeah, yeah, Crunch looks fine, yeah. Like, cause, I mean, this is his first, I guess cause, I guess cause this is his first game, so there was no, like, frame of reference, so really yeah, they, to. Yeah, they, they could do whatever they wanted, so, yeah. Like, everyone, like, everyone else kinda looks off-model. Yeah. yeah uh, like, it can, like, that's, like, the monsters contributes to, like, the uncanny valley feel, like, yeah. this game has, like, it's, it wants to be Naughty Dog's games, but something just looks... Yeah, right, I'm done messing around. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, um... Again, it's most noticeable with the villains. I, the, Crash... Crash and especially Coco look a, look a little bit off, but I think... Hmm? <laughs> oh, man. I got... Sarge from the Toy Story movies to play him. <laughs> oh, that yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um. But like. Yeah. Uh. Coco especially is a little little off with the um like the main hero cast, but uh, they she doesn't look too bad, all things considered. Um. And uh, Aku Aku. He's in this game. He's basically what he his design was on the back of Crash Freeze box. So I guess they just used that design. Yeah, he has a much more prominent nose and thing. He has more feathers than he did in the original trilogy. Hmm. I'd have to look back on that. But yeah. yeah he's got like five feathers in most games. Seven in this one. Okay. I I, I think I think they uh, l lowered it to four in insane. I could be wrong. Five? No. Yeah, you might be right. It might have been... I'm trying to recall his colors and I'm trying to look. Remember warps? I'm trying to remember his colors. Yeah, like the green chin beard and then the... what? Red, pink, yellow, and blue. Hmm. I think that was it. Four and the like, seven. Or... I don't remember about the Titans games. Um, he had like seven, but they were kind of more symmetrically designed than that one. Hmm. You know, uh, it's kind of funny. Uh, when I first saw um, Aku Aku in the uh, Titans, I honestly thought it was a different character. That's how drastically different the model was. Or the design, rather. I, I've since, like, grown to get used to it. I don't mind the masks in those games, um, but, like, it's kind of jarring. At least he kept his jaw. Luka doesn't have that anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, I could be wrong about the, uh, just having four feathers in Insane, but I, I don't know. Because, like, you, you spend, like, all those loading screens just looking at Aku Aku floating around a screen, so... This level just kind of exists, there's not much to say about it. Oh, 
don't know, what, what is um, something we can talk about? Talk about Smash Leaks? No, no, oh. no. Oh no. Oh well. Yeah, there's. Uh, we're. I guess we are in a period of that again. I guess with the DLC stuff. I haven't really dabbled mm. much into it. For you, Harry. Like. <laughs> oh yeah, time to use the snake shoes. The best power up in platformer history. Yeah. <laughs> My gosh, I'm just reminded of the Cat Icarus video where he played the Pink Panther theme. It's been so well, I can't believe I never thought about it before. Yeah. Alright, can I... Like, having that review criticizing the game, but then gushing about the music? <laughs> yeah. The music! I mean, it is a good soundtrack. Yeah, like, it, like it might actually... Although Dang it is, like, oh. I messed up. First World War Alone has some of my favorite Crash level themes. Yeah, level 4 and 5 are really good. Like, uh, I wouldn't have minded if they stayed as composers, like, swallows that stayed as composers of these franchises. Yeah. I do like what they did with Toon Sanity, though, but it is, like, a massive, like, different, uh, like, style. Massive, it, it is, like, a completely different style to this. Do you know Spiral Mouth did a cover of a Michael Jackson song? I did not know that. Um, yeah, they covered Wanna Be Starting Something, and it's good. Crap. <laughs> Why are you still charging? You're dead. <laughs> yeah, uh, like we were saying earlier, uh, this game likes chase sequences. <laughs> Funny enough, though, the, the, they, they, they don't ever have, like, levels, like, dedicated, like, like, exclusively dedicated to like chase sequences, they just kind of placed them in like uh, the platforming levels. Isn't there a lot of Coco just being on, a, on a, the uh, snowboard getting chased by an avalanche? Yes, I don't. F I'm not sure if it can e it can even kill you though, because I I've tried going really slow in that section and nothing, it never catches up. Alright, so it's like, um... Okay, eee! Fuck you, rhinos! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Turn around. Man. Oh, wow. <laughs> I am kind of... I'm a little bit nervous on how well I'm gonna do in some of these parts, because... I, I do have not... I do not remember any of these box placements. So, if I just end up dying randomly to a nitro that just shows up, don't, don't be surprised. They, like, I'm just, I'm just noticing this because I haven't played this game in, like, almost 15 years. They really do like nitro crates in this game. Yeah. It's, um, again, it's a difficult, it's like, it's a problem with how they decide to make difficulty, I think, in this game. They just kind of placed nitros all over the place. Yeah, for um, reference, um, for reference, to everyone watching who doesn't know the whole history of the whole all de the development history of all the Crash games, um, yeah, this game was developed in about a year's time. Hmm. Had no experience, as far as I know, had no experience on six generation systems aside from the Dreamcast. Oh no. <laughs> like uh. This. I had parted ways with Universal, well, amicably, as far as I know. Mm. Also with Sony, and they went on to create Jack and Daxter, which did debut the same year as this. Oh, oh, I didn't know it was the same year. Hmm. Yeah, play, um, play yes. yeah, Jack, Jack and mm. Daxter. Uh, I, you know, just quick side thing. Uh, Jack, I, I, did, I uh, recently played through Jack 1, and uh, I enjoyed it. It's a pretty fun platform. Apparently, precursor the precursor legacy was like in for excuse me was at one point guide dogs for crash game. You can definitely see the 
old Crash DNA for her legacy. Yeah, they even have like the uh, plant enemy in uh, Jack's house or whatever it was. And you get to the third game where J Dexter gets pants and now he just looks like Crash. <laughs> I so far I'm only like some way through Jack two. Uh, I can I I I'm not that far in, but I'm already understanding why people have issues with it. But that's a that's a that's a discussion for another time. But uh, yeah, uh, water levels. Um, they are infinitely worse than Crash Free. <laughs> um, there's like everything. Everything I don't like about water levels is here, really. Like the the mood, like it, it's just really tedious to get around the place. The camera sucks. So like, you can get blindsided by enemies that just kind of show up sometimes, uh, especially with the mines. And so, considering how wide it is, it's really easy to miss boxes here. And having to replay these types of levels is not something I like doing. And um. It's ba these are basically cr crash free water levels if, if they sucked. <laughs> and they already weren't really my favorite types of levels in Warped. Ugh. How would you compare the, the swimming controls in these levels to Warps? Um. It's a bit more. loose, I guess? Um. I don't know. It, it, it's been a bit since I played OG Crash Frey, so I I might be misremembering a little, but... I already know the Nitro Switch will get rid of it. I don't know if it, I can trust that. <laughs> Who's life, Harry? There we go. I mean, we have a mask, so... Um, but... Yeah, this doesn't feel quite as naturally as the Crash Frey's... From what I remember, anyway. The warp swimming controls were the best in the best in the genre at the time, but they were yeah, they yeah, got the job done for the most part. The the, the swimming controls were actually pretty solid in Crash Free. Also, the music's completely glitched, if you couldn't tell. It's just repeating. If you listen to the music, it's just repeating the same notes over and over. It's not meant to do that. Uh, some water level. Can I, uh, take a bathroom break? This is done. Uh, you want to take a bathroom break? Yes. Okay. I mean... I mean, we have sub the submarine. Uh, this is... Basically just this jet thing in Crash Free, but... You, it, you're you forced to use it. Like, if you get hit in this thing, you just die. And, um... It's a lot slower. Uh, it's not as fun to use. Yeah. Do you consider that? Do you consider the hit detection to be to be kind of off? I've heard people complain about that. Um, it, you, you definitely the hit detection is is definitely wider, and it it's a little bit. It, it makes uh, avoiding some things like the mines a bit more of a hassle than they need to be sometimes. Bouncing aids are like basically turn. Like, turning seems to be a little slow. Yeah, you have to wait for Crash to, like, face the camera. Doesn't sound annoying at all. Yeah. <sighs> so, uh, do you- well, would you, would you remember uh, these, uh, water, lo water levels? Like, how did you find them? Uh, um... They're called dying in the sub a lot. Yeah, yeah, I remember. I've died in the sub a lot as well. Ah. Jeez, Harry, just murder the guy. <laughs> Okay, this is a bit of a puzzle. You can't. You need to break these in the right order. Otherwise, you, you just screw yourself over. Uh, 
Okay, that should be good. For some reason, the sharks remind me of... I think it was the sharks that kind of remind me of Mario enemies. A little bit. They're definitely a lot more cartoony than the sharks in Crash 3, that's for sure. Oh, that's just... Yeah, it's stuff like that where you have barely anything, any time to react. Okay, please say we've gotten all the boxes. Oh, that was close. Yeah! Oh, oh man. These are the worst types of levels to lose boxes in. It would be great if a mine just dropped right, right on as you were getting to the portal. <laughs> I would be surprised. These devs, I wouldn't. Okay, so un unlike Crash 3, you actually get to use the Death Tornado Spin on the in the underwater levels, which really benefits you for speed, uh, the time trials. So we're going to actually not do the time trial for this level yet. And thankfully, because I really can't be bothered right now. And go to the bathroom briefly. Alright.